Hello everybody, this is the observatory. Also, Tell here coming at ya. Now, since the eclipse has happened, a lot has been going on lately. Lots of strange, crazy things. People definitely have been acting way different. And some people just seem very, very angered more than than usual, even at the simplest thing. I encountered that with someone, um, with the place I work. I had only left the spot where I was at 15 seconds. Didn't even have a line of people at the register I was working at. And uh, just went to quickly put two items away. And I had a woman yell at me saying, you've got a line, are you going to come up here and wait on these customers? I get up there, there's only one lady who has two items. And then there's her, her son, and her husband who have candy. I looked at her and said, yes ma'am, I'm on my way up. There was no one up there when I left. We are not allowed to just stand at the register. We have to put things away as well. She got heated, really mad, stormed out. Her husband was very nice and sweet. And all I could think in my head is, boy, I'm sure glad I am not you today, woman. And I'll be praying for your husband. So there's a lot of things, you know, that I've noticed. Also something else I noticed where I work. I can't disclose exactly where. But I overheard a conversation that was alarming. I overheard two guys talking as they were getting a glass jar. Mason jar, mind you. And they didn't know I was around the corner. And they were talking quietly to each other. And one of them motioned, showing he was throwing the jar. To his friend, he goes, yes, yeah, see, this will look. Because it's lightweight, so when we throw it, it'll go, poof. Like, you know, what do you think of something like that when someone's m mentioning throw and poof? I think explode, break, right? Okay? You throw something on purpose. Then it wasn't that long after. They came up to my register asking me if we had cheesecloth. I told them we didn't have cheesecloth, and they were looking at each other like, whoa, where can we get some cheesecloths? And they had frequent in the store. Three times that day. But prior to that, there was another incident. Now, I do want to tell you, I'm not a prejudiced person at all. Not one bit. I love everybody, every race, every color. We all have a piece of Jesus in us. Okay? And that I know to be true. But prior to the incident with those two guys, there was a family that came in. And there was a woman, completely covered in her dress, okay? With her face and everything, okay? All in black. And I could see fear completely scared fear in her eyes yes someone's eyes can tell a lot about the soul i read people's energies i read people it's just something i naturally am able to do so i sense the fear and worry all over her and this is you know before the, right before the eclipse the stuff took place and I remember talking to the husband about the eclipse and mentioning about the eclipse glasses and stuff. And he acted like he didn't know really anything about the eclipse or thought that it had already happened. Just the conversation I held with him, I thought to be a wee bit odd. And then it's not long after I run into those guys asking for the cheesecloths. Okay. There's visions I've been given. There's things I have seen. Also, um, there is another woman who I think is a little bit odd. Okay. 
and she's from here, you know, America, and she also, too, wears complete black dress, and it's hot outside, with her head covered and her face covered, okay? And I've seen her just stand out on the street corner, not far from where I'm at, just standing there for hours and with a shopping cart and not doing anything but just stand there, mind you. If I catch her again, I do plan on getting her on video, that is for sure. So I do have much more coming up to all of this madness. But what have you guys been noticing? Hmm? Yes, we got these riots and things going on too. And I do have to chime in with that. Violence doesn't fix violence. But sitting there doing nothing doesn't do anything either. So what do you do? Everyone needs to stand together and stand tall. And unite in love. That's the thing. But there's so much evil prevailed in this world. And what people don't realize is there's actually a lot of love in this world. And if all the ones that stuck together took on the evil of this world, and we all started roaring like lions and making things happen, that's when we're going to see a difference. So all I'm saying, people, is keep your eyes open and peeled. Watch what's going on. Because there's things going on that's quite alarming. And I know with my vision and my dream, I'm getting more confirmations with um, one particular one that I had. Yes, Spirit, God, Jesus, he's been giving me vision since I was a child. Okay? These aren't of my abilities. I give it to him. And I'm hearing now that Russia's claiming they're going to go after Poland. And they're going to do it from the inside and take them out. Well, me too have had knowledge of things to come. Because I'll still go back to the dream I had. And I know it was warmer weather because of the season of the dream. That's one thing that I've always known about my dreams when he gives me certain visions of time frames. Okay? I'm walking, and I'm in this apartment, okay, and then I go through the kitchen, like, and in the living room, and there's a hallway, I see someone walking out with a towel on their head and a robe, going to their room, and I remember thinking, I would hate to live here and have to take a shower and people just walking through my hallway. I walk through the hallway, the end, there's another door, okay, I open that door, and outside, there's men dressed in... Young men, young, okay? Like in their 20s, young. Dressed in Chinese armor. Really nice spiked armor. Bragging about going into people's homes, just kicking the doors open. And using their swords and taking people's heads off. And killing them. Two guys in particular were joking about this. How they were going to chat up about it later. But they were on their way to do it. I go past these guys, okay, this vision, after they had all passed, and all of a sudden, I'm in this place where there's some kids playing, and they kind of direct me into a direction which goes towards the right, and you know, it's like, it's supposed to be like a water park, you know, but there's a spot where there's grass, and I see these big, huge tanks, okay, they are plastic. All right, they're huge plastic tanks, and they're bubbling over. And there were some woods, but I couldn't quite make out the woods that were on the thing, but I definitely knew that was chemical danger. That was there. There's a lot of things going on. So I'm telling you to watch out, because I have a strong feeling. Also the 28th, the 28th kept popping in my head for four days straight, the 28th. Ain't it great? It's the 28th, the 28th, the 28th. I got a feeling something's going to happen. And I got a feeling July 28th, there could be something that happens. I'm going to 
do some more with asking spirit, asking Jesus, okay? More guidance on his input and sight on that. But I can't hold back this message. I had to get it out to you people for you people to hear because it's very important. There are some events that are going to go down and that are going to happen. And there are a lot of people that are fed up with the governments that are finally taking a stand. So just know that there's going to be some things happening here with our own soil. and our... It's been long overdue, wouldn't you all say? They say history repeats itself. I say it doesn't. It rides alongside us, all of this, for all these years. So soon, America is going to look like the rest of the third world countries. There will be plenty of bloodshed on our soil. So are you going to stand there, or are you going to stand up and do something? Peace and love.